Hi everybody, I'm Lena Waslick. I'm the Director of Education and Staff Development at Hackettstown School District. I am so excited that in October we are able to do our first tri-district ed camp. So it's, we're going to be calling it Paws for PD uh, because we are the Jaguars, the Eagles, and the Tigers. So we are really excited. I can't wait. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of overview to what a camp is if you are unfamiliar. And camp is a movement that about educators coming together to discuss, discuss topics um, that they are interested in. The day is really about you. It's about um, your interests, your needs, um, and basically having the time to collaborate with other staff um, to share things that you've tried in your classes, um, things that have been both successful and unsuccessful, and how to learn from each other. It is participant driven. Um, basically what happens is at camps allow participants to collaboratively determine um, session topics. Usually what happens is everybody shows up and there's this big blank wall and um, people go write the names of sessions up on the wall and kind of that's how your day is populated. Because we're in three different districts and because of time constraints and um, you know, I'm not sure if every, how familiar everybody is with the process, what we're going to do is we're going to create those sessions ahead of time with descriptions, titles, room numbers, so that when you come over uh, on the morning of uh, the 9th, you will already have an idea of what is going on, uh, what rooms everything's going to be in, and it just allows for a much smoother uh, beginning of the day. There are at camp rules uh, in, the, <laughs> in the vein of Fight Club. Uh, there are no rules. Uh, there are some things of etiquette. Um, if you pitch it, you start it. So, for example, if you wanted to start a session um, or if you wanted to host a session on fishbowl discussions, then you start the conversation. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to have a big formal presentation. Um, it just means that you say, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm the one that put this up on. You know, I would really like to talk about fishbowl discussions um, and that can that could be um, just a sharing of experiences, or it could be more of a formal presentation where you share how you've done this in your classroom, or it could be a mixture of both. Um, so that's kind of how it, it starts. If you pitch it, you start it. Uh, share the floor. That's the second rule for etiquette. Basically what that means is um, let other people have a part in the session. Let the conversations occur. Uh, and the third, and this is probably the most uncomfortable or difficult rule of ed camp is that you have to listen to your feet. So like I said earlier, the biggest part of ed camp is that you are receiving what you need during that day. Um, so if you go into a session saying, oh, this sounds great, and then you get in there and you're like, oh, this isn't really what I thought it was going to be, or oh, this isn't really um, directed towards my age group of students, and there's something else that you want to go see, get up and go. Everybody, and this is hard for people to do because nobody wants to hurt anybody's feelings, um, but both as a presenter um, and someone who is attending, you have to be okay with this and encourage. If this isn't what you need, please go. It's, it's not a big deal. I'm not insulted. I understand. Um, but I, it does. It's not about ego. It's about getting what you need out of the day. So here's your rule of two feet a little bit further. You look over your session offerings. You see... Okay, this looks good. This is what I would like to go to. It's not a bad idea to have a couple backups just in case. Um, so you go to the session that interests you the most during that time period. Um, and then if you're not in a session that's meeting your needs, you get up and go. Uh, enjoy the session that's best for you and your needs at that moment in time. The success of ed camp really depends on you. If you go and sit in sessions that are not applicable to you and that you don't really have interest in, you're not going to get the most out of your day. So be your own best advocate and get up and go. So last year we did a ad camp um, and we had some really, really great ideas. And I'm going to share some of those with you. These were the uh, offerings that we had in our ad camp last year. Um, we had things on Nearpod, discussions. Um, we had a Q&A with our superintendent, our acting superintendent, our current superintendent right now. Uh, Edison Robots, we got to learn how to integrate 
robots and STEM into our other classes. Um, rubrics, flexible seating, whole brain teaching. So there's tons of stuff. Our um, special ed department came together and they, they presented on Quest, POR, MD, CRS. What is all ICRS? What does all of this mean? There's lots of uh, abbreviations for things. What does it really mean? Responsive Classroom, uh, one of our administrators did that one last year. So there's lots of great things that our schedule this year is going to look very different from this because it depends on you, what you want to offer, what you would like to have sessions um, contain, if you want to do presentations. Um, and that's really the kind of nice thing about EdCamps is that every time you have one, they look vastly different. Here's some other ones. Um, when I was back when I was an instructional coach, these are some of the ones that we did. Flipgrid, uh, One Take Wonders. Um, I'm thinking about doing one on Soul Lessons this year, um, or Post-its. All sorts of different ideas. I can't session tips. Um, basically, what you're going to do if you're thinking that you might like to host a session. Think of a topic that's of interest to you and where you would like to share your knowledge. Again, it doesn't have to be a formal presentation. It could just be sitting down and having a discussion. Um, but that's what you have to decide. Do you want to have a discussion or is this something that you want to more formally show? Name your session appropriately and clearly. A catchy title helps. It gets people's eye. It gets people excited about what it is that you're doing. Uh, decide if you want to present as a team or individually. Uh, be prepared to be the moderator. Sometimes conversations can either get really intense because the reason that people are in your session is because they're interested by it. Some people might be very passionate about your topic. So you have to be prepared to say, okay, you know, that's great. Um, we can agree to disagree or, um, you know, I think we should move on from this topic because sometimes they could go far off course. If you're discussing or presenting a topic and have materials that you would like to help others, bring them. Be willing to share them. Um, we could set up a Google Drive so that everybody has access to all of these additional materials. <clears throat> if, as I'm talking, you're thinking that you'd really like to um, suggest a session, awesome. Just remember, if you pitch it, you start it. So if you, you could sign up at bit.ly at pause for PD. Or you could scan the QR code um, and do it that way as well. And it'll bring you through a form. Um, you'll pick your district. You'll pick um, the grade level. And just give a brief description. If you can hack those to me, um, no later. Hold on, I'm going to make sure I give you the right date here. If you could have those to me, no later than I'm going to say September 22nd, which is a Friday. That gives me about a week and a half to get everything in order for you, all the sessions lined up, um, and get you all the information out uh, as soon as possible. Arrival time will be 8 a.m. We are going to go to Hackettstown High School. Everybody will meet first in the auditorium. Um, we will have a general meeting. I'll go over the rules, instructions, give out maps, any last-minute schedule changes. People do get sick sometimes, and then we have to adjust. Um, the sessions, you have to adhere to your time slots. Sometimes it's so tempting to go over because you are you have a really good conversation or there's great ideas that are being shared. Um, but if you go over your time slot, it really affects the rest of the day. So please be prompt. Please sign in at each session. Um, and then at the end of the day, we have a smackdown. Now, that's not my term. <laughs> that's Ed Camp's term. Um, it is not like the WWE smackdown. This is much, much different. Basically, as a group, we reconvene, we share out information that we might have uh, obtained throughout the day that we think is great, uh, maybe give a shout out to people who did um, really, really great sessions or sessions that you got a lot of um, useful and important information out of. So it's just kind of like a recap of the day. There will be no wrestling. Uh, our tentative schedule looks like this. Basically, we're going to start at 8. There's going to be six sessions. Lunch will be from 10.50 to 11.50. I know that's a little early, um, but we're going to, this is, like I said, tentative. I might move things around just a bit. Um, and then we'll have our smackdown at the end of the day. Dismissal will be at 3. If you are a facilitator, I've created these badges that you will receive, um, and you can put them up on your email um, as a facilitator for PAUSE for PD. If you're curious about EdCamps, 
there's a couple articles and a couple of videos uh, that will help. I will also be sending this uh, PowerPoint to you or this video to you as a PDF too, so you can click on all of the all of the links. Um, and then basically, this is this is one of my favorite quotes about teaching and about PD is the most valuable resource all teachers have is each other. Without collaboration, our growth is limited to our own perspectives. And really, that is the main idea behind the ed camps. It's, it's collegiality, it's collaboration. Um, and really what we're doing is we're all getting together and, and doing the best we can for the kids that we serve. So having this time to really get what we need out of the day is, is the most important. So again, I would like to thank you. I'm excited to see you soon. Um, there's that QR code again on the side. Don't forget to sign up for a session. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any concerns or you're unfamiliar really with what ed camps look like and are just still not comfortable, feel free to shoot me an email. If you want me to give you a call, I'm more than happy to chat. Um, but I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. So we'll see you on October 9th.